Yo! Well, what should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but I don't know what to do. Not like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. They want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever, I know I'm getting some for sure today. I'm not that pathetic, come on, man. I can get quite a lot from part-time workers at Jeunesse. The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Jason? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. Don't be so desperate! And I brought some, too! Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing! Here you go, Chia-senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Hey, what about him? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Wow, her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. Oh, not so good. What are you all doing together? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. She never breaks a sweat. Oh, well, Ganji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? 
totally feel like we missed the train here. Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Okay. If you can't find yours, come see me later. That's it. Dismissed. Any questions? What are you doing? You've got to make a decision right now. Oh. Uh, me, me too. I've got candy for everybody but you, so uh, I'll see you later. Man, it must suck being so popular. I would rather be popular. Shut up, I would too. Sorry for her being such a spaz just now in front of everybody. Here, this is yours. It's a, a little different from everyone else's. You, um, do, do you have something else to do today? I'm not doing anything, so uh, maybe I'll go with you. Kidding. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't ask anything about today or if you have someone else. I believe in you. But it's still a little sad. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm asking too much. <sighs> I'll call you later. after this and share it, but just the two of us. But that's just me. I'm kidding myself. Uh, where are you going after this? What are you gonna do? You're not telling your girlfriend what you're doing. On Valentine's Day. I am your girlfriend, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just get worried sometimes. I'm crazy, aren't I? It's not that I don't have any trust in you. I guess I'm not that confident about who I am. And I think of you as someone that I can't have all to myself. It's strange. Here. I've got you all to myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, this is for you. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. I knew you'd notice how special it is. I added durian and habanero to it. Anyone can just melt some chocolate and pour it into a mold. Where's the love in that? So I added a bit of originality. I'm certain you'll like it. What's the matter? Oh, we eat it now. I worked so hard on it. I want to see your happy face. Aren't you glad, Sentai? You, but you'll have to tell me what you think later. The only thing I can hear is the sound of the waves. It's like we're all alone in the world. I'm going to tell you my dreams. I haven't told anyone else. I want to work and go to college. I think I could study lots of things. And during all that, I want to have a serious relationship with a man I love and get married on a tropical island and live in a house with a big yard and get a big dog. I'll cook and live happily with my husband. And then when we're old, we're going to drink tea every day by the garden together. Just kidding. I'm such a weirdo. Hey, don't jump to any conclusions. I didn't even say who I was talking about. Senpai, by a man I love, I meant you. Right now it's just a dream, but it's important to me. So I want to make all my dreams come true one by one with you at my side. You can't take that back. Did you know, Senpai? People were born from the sea. I feel like we're Adam and Eve right now. Just the two of us here. Eve was Adam's wife, so... That means Adam gets to have Eve all to himself.
teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. GA said I should mix an iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Risei Chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added a fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Um, Big Bro, thank you. I love you. Big Bro? What's wrong, Big Bro? Good morning. Mm. Mm. What's up? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's go.
All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? Oh, yeah. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them.
I apologize.
very happy. Thank you. I'll see you later. You have come. <laughs> now, close your eyes. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Mm. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs>
Yo!
a coincidence. It must be destiny. Oh, so you guys came here too. It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless. So I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> Will you shut up about your steaks? I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun in games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh, I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm, some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. A anything come to your mind, Senpai? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. Hmm, it's not 
very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The Midnight Channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme, could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows so someone was behind the scenes watching us the culprits and maybe even that monster and he manipulated adachi and namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly let's go out into town we might find something although you may be the only one capable of noticing it please contact the rest of us should you come across anything we can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Hmm? 
you already meet all your friends? Try not to leave here with any regrets. Hmm? Try not... What's this all of a sudden? The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. A lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, big bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. Mm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you car sick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Okay. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. 
Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only at the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. So the last battle wasn't enough for you? He has certainly have the powers I was expecting. You must know by now. Isn't that why you came? Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Ah. 
Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. And now here you stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Hey, are you alright? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me! So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay! The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up! Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness.
Let us be sure to solve this today. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. Bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives. There were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right. All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, 
You can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future. So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this.